Welcome to another Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown. The newest Hearthstone expansion, Murder at Castle Nathria, is out and the meta has changed drastically. With all of these new cards shaking up the game, Blizzard has already decided that we'll be in for nerfs and buffs soon. Before these balance changes hit the live servers, we want to take a chance to dive into the top tiers of the meta. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. Also, we suggest heading on over to our website at tempostorm.com to see the entire meta report. Now let's jump right in. Leading off tier one is Control Shaman. This archetype has been the talk of the town. It's phenomenal at stalling, and thanks to Snowfall Guardian, even being ahead on board can punish you. Honestly, while Control Shaman can be fun to play, it is absolutely aggravating to play against, thanks to all of their stall and removal. Luckily, this deck should be hit pretty hard in the nerfs, giving us a chance to unfreeze. Control Shaman's best matchups come from board-based decks, such as Imp Warlock, as you can easily stall the board and prevent them from chipping away at you. As for bad matchups, expect to have a more difficult time against decks like Quest Hunter that can burn you down, but honestly, even those matchups aren't awful. The second deck to make an appearance in Tier 1 is Imp Warlock. This deck spawned thanks to a lot of the new Imp synergies introduced in the new expansion. Cards like Rafam and the Warlock location enable you to develop huge threats in boards seemingly out of nowhere. In addition, Impending Catastrophe gives the deck access to a whole arsenal of card draw, allowing you to consistently apply pressure. This deck is honestly kind of insane right now, and it has a great callback to old zoo variations. Imp Warlock performs best against hunter archetypes, with both Quest and Face Hunter struggling to keep up with your pressure. As for bad matchups, things such as Control Shaman prove to be difficult, as they can easily freeze and remove your board over and over again. The last deck we're looking at in Tier 1 this time is Quest Hunter. This archetype remains a strong ladder contender, despite the new expansion's release. With the new Wild Seed cards giving the deck threats and more burn, some players have begun to experiment with a Renathal XL package to have access to more options. The deck has a lot of good matchups, but it excels against some of the greedier decks. Just like days of old, Hunter continues to dominate Control Mage, such as Skeleton Mage. As for its bad matchups, aggressive decks like Imp Warlock are problematic for you, as you can't easily finish your quest while they're smorking you down. Typically, we find Tier 2 to be larger and more diverse than the first tier, but this time it also only features three decks, there's a huge power disparity between tier two and tier three decks. Before we look over at the decks in this tier, please be sure to head on over to tempostorm.com to view the other decks in this report. Leading off tier two is another hunter archetype with Face Hunter. This deck continues to be one of the fastest decks in the game, making use of burn spells and wild seeds to pressure out the opponent as fast as possible. Face Hunter finds itself in a good spot in the meta due to how well it beats out a lot of the other tier 3 and tier 4 decks. As for the top two tiers, it really only finds itself performing well against Skeleton Mage, and then struggles a bit against the rest… well, that may be overstating things. The deck's bad matchups are only around 45%, making the deck a good choice for ladder regardless of your pocket meta. The second deck we're seeing in tier 2 is Naga Priest. This deck received some powerful new tools with the location, Cathedral of Atonement, and Boon of the Ascended. This deck honestly only got more more consistent with the last set, and it has been seeing a lot of ladder play as a result. Naga Priest is not only a good choice for ladder, but also just a fun deck to play in general, so we suggest trying it out. Its best matchups are against other board-based decks, such as Imp Warlock, or decks that are a bit slower, such as Skeleton Mage. As for bad matchups, the list struggles against things that can easily lock you out of the game, such as Control Shaman. The last deck we're looking at today is the previously mentioned Skeleton Mage. The new skeleton effect allows mages to summon a 2-2 that deals 2 damage to a random enemy on death. With a lot of these, the deck can quickly clear boards or burn down their opponent, making for very interesting games. With freeze effects such as the mage location or general stall tools, this freeze mage inspired deck can easily stall the game out, giving mage a way to interact with the board in more ways than just spells. This deck is one of the few that actively beats Imp Warlock, as you can fight for board with skeletons, then freeze it until your opponent simply dies. But as we mentioned before, burn decks like Quest Hunter are hard for you to deal with, as your skeletons are just quest activators that will watch you get burned out of the game. That concludes our meta snapshot breakdown. We hope you've been enjoying solving the murder at Castle Nathria. After the balance changes, the meta will be the one dying, and we'll be there eager to solve that mystery as well. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Hearthstone content. Until next time!